Hi guys, welcome to reading. So last week we talked about poetry. I got to read your guys cute and fun poems. Um, and this week we are talking about realistic fiction. What is realistic fiction? So fiction is a story that's not true. It is made up. Um, however, realistic fiction is a story that is made up. It's not true. However, it could happen. It's a realistic story. So it might not be a true story, but it's a story that could happen. So when we read our story about the cat and the moon and the cat going to the moon, that's fiction and it's not realistic, right? Um, however, we are gonna read a story that is fiction. It's made up, but it could happen in real life, okay? It's called Whistle for Willie. Out of our reading books and it's about a boy who wants to learn how to whistle. I cannot whistle. Can you guys whistle? If you can whistle, practice whistling right now. I wish I could hear you, but okay. I can't whistle. So if you guys have any tips on how to whistle, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and read and you guys can listen along. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he began to turn himself around and around and around. He whirled faster and faster. When he stopped, everything turned down and up and up and down and around and around. Peter saw his dog, Willie, coming. Quick as a wink, he hid in an empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled, Peter thought. Willie would stop and look all around to see who it was. Peter tried to whistle, but he still couldn't. So Willie just walked on. Peter got out of his carton and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalks out of his pocket and he drew a long line right up to his door. He stood there and tried to whistle again. He blew till his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. He went into his house and put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Still no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, why no, he's outside, Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for him then, said Peter. First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk. Then he tried to run away from his shadow. He jumped off his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the carton was. And who should be, and who should he see, but Willie. Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and blew and blew. Suddenly out came a real whistle. Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. It's me, Peter shouted and stood up. Really raced straight to him. I had a hard time with this book. Peter ran home to show his father and mother, mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there and he whistled all the way home. Okay, the 
end. Okay, you guys are gonna make, I mean, you guys are gonna answer some questions. I will write them in the email for you guys. Um, number one, what problem did Peter have? How did Peter solve his problem? How can you tell that Whistle for Willie is realistic fiction? So how do you know that this story is realistic fiction? Remember, realistic fiction is a story that isn't true, but it could happen in real life. Okay, so how do you know that this story could happen in real life? So I will write the questions for you guys and you guys can just answer them on a sheet of paper. And then tomorrow I'm gonna read to you guys another story and then we have a fun activity to follow it. All right, bye guys.